Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Academic English, where I teach intermediate and advanced level lessons for English learners who want to take their English to the next level. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my experience teaching writing with you, and I'm going to show you the best ways to write a thesis statement. This is a great video if you are in school or even if you have a job where you have to make presentations because the English style is very direct and the thesis statement is the most important part of the writing because that's the sentence where we directly state our idea. If you are writing in English, you want to know how to write good thesis statements so that your writing is clear and to save you time. So if a thesis statement is easy for you, then it's going to save you time because you're going to be able to do it and then focus on the rest of your writing. If you're learning writing to prepare for a test like the TOEFL or IELTS, this is also extremely useful. So before we get into the lesson today, I'd like to remind you to please give this video a like if you find it helpful. Leave a comment below where you can ask questions or practice with me and subscribe if you want more lessons like this one. And be sure to check out my writing playlist where you can see lots more lessons all about writing in English. And be sure to stay until the end of the video when we'll practice writing a thesis statement together. So first, what is a thesis statement? Well, a thesis statement is one, sometimes two sentences that directly tell the main idea of your writing or your presentation. We say that this is the most important sentence in your essay because it tells the reader exactly what your argument or main idea is and maybe how you're going to explain that in your essay. So it works like a map or a guide for your reader. And in the English writing style, we expect this sentence. It tells the reader exactly what your argument is, what is your main idea, and maybe how are you going to explain that. And then the reader feels more comfortable. They know what to expect, and then they will read your essay and decide if they find your argument persuasive, believable, or not. And all of the paragraphs in the essay serve some kind of purpose to support this thesis statement. Usually the thesis statement goes at the end of the introduction paragraph. In longer essays, sometimes your introduction can be two or more paragraphs. In that case, it'll usually go at the end of the last introductory paragraph. So it's usually the last sentence of your introduction. Let's look at an example thesis statement. Cats make the best pets for the following reasons. They are easy to take care of, they provide company, and they live a long life. So in this thesis statement, we know what the writer is talking about, about cats. And what idea does the writer want to prove? That they make the best pets. How is the writer going to explain that argument? With three main reasons. They're easy to take care of, they provide company, and they live a long life. So in this thesis statement, we have those three parts clearly mapped out for us. What's the topic? Cats. What does the writer want to say about cats? That they make the best pets. How is the writer going to explain that? With three reasons. And here we even know what those three reasons are. So we expect that the essay is going to have three parts. One part to explain each reason. Probably each part is going to be one paragraph, but it could be more. For example, for the first supporting reason that they are easy to take care of, it's possible that the writer might even have two or three paragraphs to explain that idea. Maybe that writer has more detail to share about that idea, and that's okay. But we know that the essay is going to have three main parts to explain each of those reasons. When we talk about writing, we often talk about the controlling idea. When we are writing, we usually choose a general topic. In this case, the topic was cats. And then we brainstorm, so we get some ideas down on paper and we think, what can I say about cats? Well, maybe I could talk about different types of cats. I could talk about the differences between wild cats and domestic cats. Maybe I could talk about how to take care of a cat. Or maybe I could talk about the reasons that I think they make the best pets. 
So as you can see, when we have the topic, we have many different ways that we can explore this topic. We have many different controlling ideas. Now, when we write an essay, we're going to choose one of those controlling ideas to argue. The controlling idea is the idea that you want your reader to learn when they read your essay. And as we will see later, those supporting reasons that I gave in my thesis statement are optional. But we'll talk about that more in just a minute. So now let's move on to look at some example thesis statements. And by looking at good examples, it gives you a better idea about how to write a good thesis statement yourself. We're going to look at a topic and we're going to consider the different things that you should think about when you're planning your essay. So we'll think about the topic and then we'll think about the controlling idea. What do we want to say about that topic? And then we're going to make a question. And this is my advice for the best way to write a thesis statement, to start with a question. Because the question helps you focus your idea and then when you answer the question, that's going to be your thesis statement. And if you want to know more about these questions, check out my video about research questions. So let's take a look at the topic of being a vegetarian. Maybe I'm taking a nutrition class and my professor asked me to write an essay about being a vegetarian. So what could I say about being a vegetarian? Well, there are many different things I could talk about, but I decided that I want to talk about why people become a vegetarian. Because I'm curious, why do people choose to be a vegetarian? That's my controlling idea. And we can make that into our research question. Why do people become vegetarians? Or why do people choose to be a vegetarian? So let's answer that question. Why do people become vegetarians? Well, I could do a little research or I could ask people, interview people, and I could find out the reasons. So I found out that one reason is that it's for ethical reasons. They don't believe in eating animals. Another reason is for health. The way that animals are raised for meat produces bad things for the environment. Now that we know what our topic is, our controlling idea, and how we're going to explain that controlling idea, we can make this into a thesis statement. And we can say, people become vegetarians for three main reasons. Improved health ethical issues, and environmental concerns. So think about the question, why do people become vegetarians? Do we answer the question? Yes, we do. Next, the topic is Buddhist art from Japan. And when I did a little research, I found out that there are some characteristics of this art. So I could ask a question like, what are the common characteristics of Buddhist art from Japan? And I could make a thesis statement like this. Buddhist art from Japan has four main characteristics. Simplicity, emptiness, directness, and a connection to nature. And as we'll see in a moment, we can leave out those supporting points and make a shorter thesis statement, and that would be okay too. All right, next one, the topic is cardiovascular disease or heart disease. And for this one, I want to talk about how to prevent cardiovascular disease. There are other controlling ideas I could explore. I could talk about how to treat it or how to recognize it, but I want to talk about how to prevent it. So I could ask, how can cardiovascular disease be prevented? And my answer is that you can exercise, have a healthy diet, and avoid smoking. So let's make that into a thesis statement. The three main ways to prevent cardiovascular disease are to have a healthy diet, exercise, and avoid smoking. So now that we've seen a few examples and you know how to do a research question and then connect that research question to your thesis statement, let's look at two types of thesis statements, general and specific. A general thesis statement does not include the supporting points that you're going to discuss in your essay. That For that reason, a general thesis statement is shorter and easier to write. 
So remember our example that we talked about, the uh, main ways to prevent heart disease or cardiovascular disease? So for example, we can say the three main ways to prevent cardiovascular disease are to exercise, have a healthy diet, and avoid smoking. In this example, the supporting points are those three ideas that come at the end of the thesis statement, and that shows the reader what you're going to talk about in your essay. But a general thesis statement is going to leave those out, and it could be something like, there are three main ways to prevent cardiovascular disease. So this tells the reader what? That the topic is cardiovascular disease, that the writer is going to explain how to prevent it, and we even gave a hint that there are going to be three ways. But we don't know exactly what those three ways are, and that's okay. We're going to find out when we read the essay. All right, let's look at another example that we did before. Traditional Buddhist art has four main characteristics. Simplicity, emptiness, directness, and a connection to nature. Well, this thesis statement is very clear because we know what is the topic. The topic is traditional Buddhist art from Japan. We know what the writer is going to talk about, that it has four main characteristics and we even know what those characteristics are. So we know exactly what the essay is going to talk about. We even know the order that the writer is going to discuss them. The writer is going to discuss simplicity first. But we can take those supporting points out and make a more general thesis statement. Traditional Buddhist art from Japan has four main characteristics. So. That's the difference between a general thesis statement and what's called a specific thesis statement. A specific thesis statement is going to include the supporting points in the same order that the writer is going to discuss them in the essay. Let's look at another example so you can see which one you prefer, a general thesis statement or a specific thesis statement. The topic for this essay is hybrid cars. So we might ask ourselves, well, what do we want to talk about with hybrid cars? Well, there are a lot of different things I could talk about, but I want to talk about why people should drive them. Reasons that people should drive hybrid cars. So my question is, why should people drive hybrid cars? And I could make a thesis statement with my topic, hybrid cars, and my controlling idea that everyone should drive one. Everyone should drive a hybrid car. Or everyone should drive a hybrid car for three main reasons. Okay, so that's a general thesis statement. We don't know exactly what the reasons are, and that's okay because we will find out in the essay. What about a specific thesis statement? How could we write the thesis statement with the supporting points? Well, first we have to brainstorm. What are the ideas that we're going to discuss? So we might want to say that they pollute less, that they are widely available, and they reduce gasoline expenses. Okay, so those are three good reasons. So let's make a specific thesis statement. Everyone should drive a hybrid car for three main reasons. They are widely available, they pollute less, and they reduce gasoline expenses. Now notice with those supporting points that we also could leave out some of those words. We could say they are widely available, pollute less, and reduce gasoline expenses. We don't have to repeat they every time. Also, notice that those supporting points show us the order that the writer is going to discuss them in the essay. So both of these thesis statements are acceptable in academic writing. Which one do you prefer? So I'm going to tell you that I prefer the specific thesis statement because I think that giving a more detailed map helps the writer to stay focused and it makes it more clear for the reader. But if you are short on time, or if you have difficulty writing a specific thesis statement, then a general thesis statement is acceptable too. 
So before we go, let's do a quick practice writing a thesis statement together. The topic for this one is climate change. It's a very hot topic nowadays. And so let's think about different controlling ideas. What could we talk about with climate change? Well, we could talk about reasons that it is getting worse. We could talk about how countries can prevent climate change or solutions. We could talk about how climate change has happened. So that would be like a kind of history or a process that would explain it from the beginning until now. Maybe we want to talk about some of the problems that climate change is causing. So here in California, where I live, climate change is causing really bad fires every year. So that would be interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose that last one to do for our example. And let's think about problems that climate change is causing. So again, our topic is climate change. Controlling idea is problems that it is causing. So let's brainstorm some of those. So I'm gonna say that it causes more wildfires. Um, I know that this year in a lot of places, it's been extremely hot and that's something we see more often. So we could say more extreme heat, stronger tropical storms, so stronger hurricanes and other big storms. And something that I read about recently was how climate change is causing species loss, meaning a reduced number of different species of animals and insects in the world. Okay, so we have four different problems that climate change is causing that we can discuss in our essay. Okay, let's make the question to help us. What problems is climate change causing? Okay, and then let's answer it. Climate change is causing four main problems. Okay, that's a general thesis statement. How can we make a specific thesis statement with these ideas that we came up with? Climate change is causing the following four main problems. My final tip for the best way to write thesis statements is to use a colon to separate the thesis statement into two parts. And this is when you're doing a specific thesis statement that includes the supporting points. For example, Everyone should drive a hybrid car for the following reasons, colon. They pollute less, are widely available, and reduce gasoline expenses. Could we do that without the supporting points too? We could, but if you're gonna include the supporting points, try using that formula of putting the following reasons or the following problems or the following four characteristics and then you put a colon, and then you list the points after that.